everybody. This is the old biker guy. Today, the biker babe and I are taking our little critter, Mr. Max. This is Mr. Max. Say, hey, Mr. Max. We're taking Mr. Max on his third day trip. Now, today we're headed up to Robbers Cave State Park, which is located up in Oklahoma. It's about a four hour drive from our home. We'll get to drive through some really nice back roads on the way up there. Should be a nice drive. It's cool this morning, but it's supposed to warm up to 70. So we're really looking forward to today's ride, drive. We decided to go in the car since it's so cool this morning and not take the trike. More to come. Well, we're headed north on Highway 271. Coming up on Calco at this time, headed on up to Paris, and once we get the other side of Paris, we'll be crossing the river into Oklahoma. More to come. Well, it means we stopped in uh, Paris, Texas, and we're taking a nice little stretch break and a pit stop. What do you think, little man's? Huh? Huh? You having a good time so far? You getting to see something? Huh, little man's? Well, looky here. Looky here at the camera. Don't be looking at me. Look at the camera. Say, I'm a handsome critter. Uh, he doesn't want to cooperate today. He just wants to smell everything. See what's going on. More to come. Okay, folks. We're headed up Highway 271. Uh, we're in Oklahoma now. Our next stop will be Antlers, Oklahoma, and then from there on up to the state park. More to come. Still headed north on 271. We're a few miles south of Antlers and coming into a little more rolly, hilly country now. Okay, folks come up on this really big hill here. The camera probably doesn't show justice, but it's probably a good four to five percent downgrade. Go a little faster. Kind of getting into some mountainous territory here. top here going down into a valley we're on highway 2 in Oklahoma we're headed due north and I think we're going to start getting into a little more of this uh, mountainous terrain that's common in this part of Oklahoma well, here's some scenic territory off to our right hand side and then up here in the front we're going down another Pretty steep hill. It doesn't look like that much in the camera, but it's actually pretty steep. Probably about a two or three percent grade. That's pretty scenery country up here. Scenic through here. Nice little road. Not too bad at all. Nice little area through 
to here. Little river coming up. Kaimichi River. <laughs> up here in front of us, kind of off to the left here is a little hilly range, kind of neat looking. And as for Lim Mans, he's just taking it easy. He said this is fun, 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 but I am a sleepy feller. I'm very, very sleepy. And I need my nap. And back up here, that's a pretty good little hill there on our left side. Kind of nice through here. circling through here to see what's going on. They've got camping in this area and I guess in the summer they have this swimming pool open. Looks like they got a picnic pavilion right in here where people can and come and have a, a family get together and there is a little lake and a little river that runs down beside this place where you can do some camping as well. Now we're heading up a little service road here and we're just going to kind of look around and see what it has to offer. A little bit of a drop off here. Little man, he's loving this. Just hold the camera down there. See, this little man, he's looking out this window and he's having a ball. We're coming up on an area where people that want to go horseback riding throughout the trails in this area can bring their horses 
and camp out here. They even got pens for their horses. So if you're a horse fan and you like to get your, ride your horse, well, this would be a good place to come. I'm sure there are many miles of really nice trails back in this area. The little man said he would love to get out there and run up and down them trails and he might even see Bigfoot hiding in these hills. He's still looking for old Bigfoot. <laughs> now this looks like a area where you can rent a cabin, but a lot of cabins in here. This is group camp one. So I guess you can come up here in groups and got a pavilion there where everybody can meet up and you got cabins in. And you probably just go hiking back in these trails back here because quite a few of them back in here for mine. Well, here's a little dam on this little river, small river that runs down beside the service road here. This is the second one of these dams that I've seen. That's a pretty nice little place. Here's a camping area. It looks like we got some campers. 